Two years ago, we published a video about the basics of appendix carry. Since then, we've received a ton of questions about some of the finer points of this method of concealed carry. So I thought it might be time to revisit this topic. In case you're not familiar with the term appendix carry, also called AIWB, we're basically talking about carrying a concealed pistol inside the waistband at about the one o'clock position for a right-handed shooter, which also happens to roughly coincide with the location of the appendix. People have carried pistols this way for as long as handguns have been in existence, but it's become a lot more popular in the last decade or so. Appendix carry is not for everybody, but I think it's got a lot of advantages, and most of the perceived disadvantages can be mitigated with a little bit of education on the topic. Some of the more common questions we've gotten about appendix carry have to do with whether it's a safe way to carry or how to make it more comfortable, and I will be covering those topics in the near future, but for today, I wanted to get into a question that I am actually completely unqualified to answer, and that is, how is it possible for bigger guys to pull off appendix carry? So for this one, I will defer to my friend Spencer Keepers, the owner of the holster company Keepers Concealment, and also one of the best shooters I personally know. I got to hang out with Spencer this past weekend at the 20th anniversary Range Master Tactical Conference in Little Rock, Arkansas, where he was actually presenting a lecture on appendix carry. How do bigger guys carry appendix? Well, you know, I'm a pretty big guy. Uh, I've lost a little bit of weight, but uh, I'm still, you know, 6'2 and 300 pounds. And really the way that works is you need a holster that has enough length to put more uh, gun below the belt line than above. But what I've done is I've actually taken and uh, lengthened the bottom of the holster just a little bit, and that allows more leverage below the belt line than above. So what Spencer is talking about here is the tendency for your gut to push the butt of the gun away from your body. If the muzzle of the gun is too short and the holster is too short, the gun is gonna wanna tip outward. That's gonna make the outline of the gun more visible through your clothes, and it also might cause the muzzle end of the holster to dig into your body, which is gonna be really uncomfortable. I think this leads a lot of people to believe that their gun is too long for appendix carry. But counterintuitively, a lot of times a longer holster will actually stabilize the gun, which makes it more comfortable and will prevent it from tipping out like that. Another part of the solution that Spencer is a big fan of is the foam wedge. And I really like these too. I use them on all my holsters. He's got Velcro at the base of the holster where you can attach a wedge shaped piece of foam and you can play around with different shapes and sizes until you figure out what works. The wedge pushes the muzzle away from the body and it tucks the grip in toward the body. And really, unless you have like really baggy clothing or washboard abs and your stomach is completely flat, I think it's really tough to pull off a, an appendix holster without some kind of wedge. Now, if your holster doesn't have this feature, you can always add it yourself using Velcro, uh, like the Velcro tape you can get at the hardware store. And instead of a foam wedge, you can use the uh, gel-based shoe inserts you can get at the drugstore. I've heard a lot of people had good luck with that. Besides the wedge and the holster length, there are a few other important factors that Spencer mentioned. And then the other real key for big guys, or really for appendix in general, is I have an infinitely adjustable belt. Uh, very small amounts of belt tension make a huge difference. So when you're looking for a holster for anybody for appendix, you wanna try and find one that has ride height and can't adjustment. Uh, and guys, we are living in great times right now. There are a lot of good appendix holster manufacturers out there. Even though he's got his own holster company, Spencer recognizes that finding the right holster is a very individual decision and having multiple viable options is a good thing. A few other holster makers he suggests looking at are Dark Star Gear, JM Custom Kydex, and Lag Tactical, which are all companies that I've had good experiences with too. Whether you're a big guy or if you're built like I am, if you're gonna try appendix carry, it's really important to get a holster from a company that understands appendix carry and how to do it comfortably and safely and in a way that allows the gun to be easily accessible. So make that choice very carefully. Be on the lookout for more appendix carry info coming very soon. And the next time you need ammo, be sure to get it from us at LuckyGunner.com.